what is true now is not a scientific thing to do. Because, you see, the law of entropy applies to mankind. Oh, no! Not, not entropy. Oh, yeah? Entropy says everything degrades. Everything degrades. We can point to the very person Every, to no, the very no, first, no, no, the no, very no, first, no, no, the second law of thermodynamics says that in a closed system, it says a closed system. The sun is not is a the sun. The universe is a closed system. The universe is not a closed system. The universe. Okay, here's your objection. Decreasing because of the sun. Here's your no. The entry does not. It's not decreased by the addition of energy to the earth. Yes, it is. No, it's not. In order for entropy, in order for entropy to decrease, you need more than just available energy. You need available energy. You need raw material. You need a transformation mechanism to transform the available energy into work. And then you need a controlling mechanism to control the transformation of the energy into growth. <laughs> got it, got it, got it, got it, and don't need it. Oh, oh yeah, you got to have it. Hey, into energy that what you plants get can use. Goes off, and we'll lay down there that. and don't move for eight weeks. And we'll see how much entropy increases in your body. Tristan, it's been six minutes since three months. Wow. Oh, Why yeah, that, will that, entropy that take sense. over if you lay oh, down so there and dumb the Why is it entropy would have you a rotten corpse that, that in eight weeks? Was problem. You're right. Uh, yeah, yes, it see. would. Because, you see, in order for entropy to be decreased in your body, it requires that energy be available. It requires that the uh, available materials are there. It requires a transformation mechanism, and it requires a template to transform the available material into work. In other words, you do not just lay down and the sun increases entropy. No matter what you put on the ground, no matter what living thing you put on the ground and subject it to long periods of time of some night, you will not see a decrease of entropy. You will see death and an increase in entropy. Every single time. It turns sunlight into food. Ah, yes, but you've got the transformation mechanism, which is the uh, ability of the leaves to convert energy into sugar. You have not only the transformation mechanism, you have the template, which is the DNA of the tree, which controls the transformation process. You always have to have four in order for entropy to decrease. You cannot get around those four things. They absolutely must be there. If any one of them is missing, entropy will not decrease. If you don't have any available energy, if you don't have... It doesn't just need to be sunlight. There are other types of energy that we can harness. I didn't say sunlight. I said available energy. Available energy. They don't need to be human. It doesn't need to be human to make things more complex. Molecules do it by themselves. Oh, they do, do they? They do, yes. Then find some molecules that have that characteristic as part Atoms? 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 Molecules. They're made up of atoms. Show me the characteristic of any molecule which is the ability that in and of itself it can reduce entropy. Show me one. Just one. Uh, um, I have to show you a couple together. Then you work. don't have the argument. Oh, I, I do have the argument. What is it? Um, when you have elements working together, you have a transformation hydrogen, mechanism. Hydrogen, hydrogen, cyanide, methane, and... They don't produce life. No, I'm not talking hydrogen about life. Hydrogen cyanide is poisonous. It is. It's so great. So is methane. It'll fucking kill you. But we're made of it, actually. It's pretty cool, eh? Um... In and of itself, by the application of energy. energy to these molecules. Hydrogen atoms fly off. Woo! 
And that creates life half. And then, and then they that become reduces unstable molecules. That reduces entropy half. So they add up together, and they become more complex. Ooh. And you get things like adenine, cytosine, guanine, and uh, thiamine. And can you explain to me how those things And then those things get together. Your hypothesis. DNA. It's no, they don't. In us. That's never ever been observed in any laboratory on the face of the earth. The creation and these, of cytosine and adenine uh, has adenine, been shown the by, lysine and all the others by ever adding lysine produced, to gases. Ever produced. We have, we have shown. Miller's experiment was a proof of creation. Did you know that? Life. Wait, how to so? reduce entropy. Here's it's why. Enough. When Miller started to because try and synthesize protein, he put together a what he assumed to be the primordial state. He had a, 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 a no oxygen in the atmosphere. It was methane and ammonia. And then ammonia, he introduced a spark into this environment. But guess what? After running the experiment for about four days, they took it apart and they found there was no protein synthesized, no amino acid synthesized. And so what they had to do is they really produces amino acids, also destroys them. So what they had to do in order to produce any detectable amounts of amino acids is they had to run the primordial soup through a filter and filter out any amino acids that may have been produced before they were destroyed by the electric arc. And so by having to filter out the amino acids says that it proves that there has to be a condition which is external to this experiment in order to even have any success. But they never or, did find enough. Or it could be on a really huge scale. It couldn't be. Some of these. Some of them aren't going to be destroyed. So we will. So you're faith. telling me that you're believing in because this by faith. Because that you have no way of. So showing scientifically, so what your faith is, even if is that at some time in the past, trillion, you believe times, it happened. happened. That's your faith, but that's not science. I'm just saying that it could happen. No, it could. I'm not saying, oh, no, no. Because there's more energy. There's ten times in our atmosphere, in our environment today, there are ten times more available energy for the destruction of amino acids than there is for the formation. Ten times the net equilibrium of this universe, if it were not for living beings constantly reducing entropy within themselves by the healing process, within a short period of time, there would be no amino acids left on the face of the earth if it was simply the addition of energy that was required. Just having a sun-bathed earth would produce absolutely no living thing. Uh, yeah, um, ultraviolet light does destroy life. Destroys. But then there's also places on Earth where ultraviolet light doesn't reach. And that life could happen. So again, you're resorting to your faith that I'm there is some place, somewhere, sometime in the past, no, where no, this no. maybe could have happened. I'm saying, That's faith. That's I'm saying, not science. I'm saying maybe. Yes, I'm saying maybe. I'm saying possibility. Well, I'm talking science. You're talking absolute knowledge. You say it cannot happen. I'm just bringing I'm telling you what science what tells us. Science doesn't tell probable. us that this can happen. Not probable, mind you. Nothing that I said here is probable. Possible. Not even possible. It's impossible. It's impossible.